What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at a new floor plan from Jayco. This is their North Point fifth wheel, full profile fifth wheel, and this is a floor plan you've probably never seen before, and one that I think is going to impress a lot of people who might look for an RV that's a little bit shorter but has a feature that will kind of blow you away. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this Jayco has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds, rides on twin 7,000 pound axles, and it has a cargo capacity of 2,350 pounds. This specific unit is about 40 feet long, but there are some secrets to it. Let's quickly take a look at the outside and then we'll work our way in. First of all, you see the slide up here is a Schwintech slide. And then you have a new style of slide from LCI back there, which we'll go over in a second. This has the side and rear facing cameras from Furion already installed. Both of your propane cans are gonna be right up here at the front on the same side. And I can really appreciate that. For me, there's a lot of convenience in having both of them here at the same side. This also utilizes a little bit different form of auto leveling. This has the equalizer system instead of the traditional level up system from LCI. Not sure if there's any real advantage to it, but it is a different brand that you typically don't see. Gonna go in the front storage area here. It has very heavy baggage doors up front given the fact that they're not very thick, but I think they make up for it by using a denser material. Has a very, very nicely trimmed out wet bay here as well. You can see your controls for the equalizer system are also in the wet bay. Coming around, you can see the 50 amp cable up here. Has a really cool water system to where you can take your typical water containers from Lowe's or wherever you get them, put it in here and it feeds water into the coach so you can have nice purified fresh water. Aluminum bath deck up top plus your inverter right here. A lot of nice storage and they're doing what a lot of manufacturers are starting to do which is to give you easy access to panels behind important areas that might require servicing plus you have a nice motion detection light up here as well coming around you have your furnace as well as your water heater you have the SantaCon turbo which is a waste evacuation system basically grinds it all up mixes it with some water and flushes it out underneath here you have a 12 inch main i-beam frame with an eight inch drop beam section up front, which gives you that real deep storage you have. Here's your mid auto level landing gear system. Also runs on Goodyear endurance tires. This is the slim rack slide out system from LCI. It's very similar to a Schwintech system, except it is kind of elevated off the side. I don't know what the true advantages of this system would be. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but if you've used the slim rack system, I'd love to hear your feedback on it. This is really cool. So you have this area to access the back of your refrigerator. It's actually the largest hatch I've seen on a fifth wheel to access the back of a residential refrigerator. Very thoughtful to put something that large. You have your frameless windows. That's going to be the vent for your vent hood above your stove. You always want to be sure you have that open if you're using it. 50 amp connection back here. Let's take a look at the suspension. So this rides on the Moride Cree 3000 suspension. And again, you have your Goodyear Endurance tires. Coming around back, this is going to be your first clue as to what makes this fifth wheel so unique. Yep, you have a slide coming off the back of this specific unit, which lengthens the overall length of the unit by about three feet. It is a full depth slide using a Schwintech slide mechanism. So this is gonna be interesting. Wait until we get inside to see what this is all about. Off the back, you have a two inch receiver that's connected directly to the frame. And then you have a full walk on roof. So quickly, let's kind of walk up here a little bit and see What's going on right here? You can see the Furion cameras already installed. All LED lighting. You're gonna have a compact outside kitchen here. Has a nice compact micro refrigerator here as well. That is a huge griddle, by the way. The surface on here is pretty dang large. Larger than most of them you see with RVs. Coming around, this is gonna be your rack and pinion slide. 
Again, you can see the other side of your leveling. Plus, you can see that on top of the 12 inch frame, or in addition to the 12 inch frame, you have a boxed section right beneath it which actually improves the uh, rigidity of the suspension, but it also increases the height of the unit slightly, which is definitely preferred if you're gonna be towing this behind newer trucks that have just a taller bed height to them. Coming around this way, I like the high gloss sidewalls that you get on these units as well. So opening up the other side of your pass-through basement storage, huge space. This is gonna be your road vac, which is your central vacuuming system. Give you a little tire pressure gauge in here as well but that is an enormous basement area. Again, all because of this drop frame section. If this drop frame wasn't here and it was a solid I-beam coming through, it'd stick up about this much higher, about a foot and a half higher. Very nice. And then up here, you're gonna have a space for a third propane can. What's interesting about it is I don't see it plumbed for a third propane can, so you can likely have it up here if you need it. You could probably even put some batteries in here, but they have the strap, just not the can itself. It could actually come in handy to have an additional propane can for a propane generator. You can see on the front, this does have the Moride upgraded rubber pin box. Basically to help control chucking, this plate right here moves around. And then let's take a look underneath the front storage where they did use a significantly thicker baggage door. That's where you would have your generator if you opt for one. This is your hydraulic system for your landing gear. And then you have a very good sized box for batteries up here. Nice setup. Before we step inside, you'll see it has twin awnings. This one's mounted to the outside of this main slide. And then you have a much longer awning up here. So you're pretty much gonna get full side coverage off of this, which is really nice. I like how everything's key to like. I've really come to appreciate that on the Van Lee unit that I've been demoing. But this is the 373 BHOK. This is an absolutely awesome floor plan. Let's step inside. Going up the Moride step above steps. And as we come inside, let me pan around so you can kind of see what's up with the interior here. So this of course is gonna be your kitchen, living room area, dinette. Nice freestanding dinette. I'm assuming there's probably storage here. Yep. This extends for the additional chairs. You can see that they've gone with a no carpet floor plan up here. So it's basically a vinyl flooring material which makes the floor look very finished off and complete. In this area, you still have the little step up right here for this specific slide. Good size island. I do kind of wish they would have positioned the sink to one side of it, so it gives you more flat usable storage on the other side. Coming around this way, you can see the nice theater seating. These are power theater seats as well. Your controls are right here on the side. And it looks like you get heat and massage with it also. Nice lighting, nice sconces over here. Taking another look here at the kitchen area. Lots of countertop space. Got a space for my coffee pot, which I really need. Really nice area here. You have a televator for your TV to come up. And when you're not using it, you have some nice day-night roller shades there as well. Plus a panoramic fireplace, some interesting design speakers here. I love the fact that they're going with this kind of contrasting interior tones. You get your light white tone here and then you get your darker browns here. I think it really makes it pop, especially when you look at the ceiling. It has a nice white ceiling, but it's offset with the brown dark crown molding as well as the area for the sconces above the island. This is really cool as well. Not entirely sure really what you would use this for, to be honest. Perhaps something's supposed to go here. And then over here you have a cutting board, nice little cover. That is a real, real stainless steel faucet. I love the fact that they're putting this upgraded Insignia four burner residential stove inside as well. Nice drawers here. They don't have the slow closing, but they do kind of pull themselves shut when they get close. It's actually kind of funny because these speed up when they close versus slow down. Nice cabinetry here, residential microwave. Nice trimming around the slides. This has the Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator with ice maker. It's nice that they give you the hatch in the back to be able to service and winterize this as well. 
nice pantry space. The pantry looks to be about 16 inches deep. They put a clock right above it. And I like how they actually put Middlebury, Indiana on here, which is where these are produced. Plus more cabinetry up here. Nice depth to them as well. Good storage spot here. You have lighting controls here, as well as a nice backsplash. Very well, it's not just that cheap plastic backsplash that you see on a lot of units. Cabinets are definitely a good size for pots, pans, instant pots, things like that. Now, let's see the magic behind this unit. So check this out. First of all, you have a staircase here, very nice, very well trimmed off staircase with a handle that takes you up to a loft area up top. Check that out. And this is a large loft. I'd probably venture to say this is a queen size bed up top. Lots of storage there. You have power connections right there. I don't know if I see a cable connection. I do. So there's a cable connection right there. It's a little dark, so you might not be able to see it. Let me see if I lift this up, if that helps. But this is a really cool spot. Overall height right here is about 20 inches. So it's not overly tall, but this is perfect for small kids. And the fact that the stairs are much safer than a traditional ladder might be. You see a lot of manufacturers that might put a ladder, especially in toy haulers, but this is actually a stair system, which has a nice slope to it. So it's gonna be a lot safer for kids to get on and off. You still wanna be careful, especially with little ones. Coming around over here, you have a really nice barn style door. Takes you to a half bathroom right here. Nice, nice countertop area, a lot of space here. Plus you have a medicine cabinet over here. A lot of room underneath here with two shelves, room for toiletries, things like that. And then you have more cabinetry back here. But check this out. Let me stand back a little bit so you can see all of this. Tell me this isn't a really cool bunkhouse. This is a very different bunkhouse. A lot of people probably haven't seen this style before. So instead of making this a rear bunk unit that's traditional with, you know, opposing slides and it takes up the whole back or making it a mid bunk unit, which takes space up up here, this one gives you a rear bunkhouse with a slide on the very back of this unit. So this is really cool. Now it's not incredibly long, so you're not gonna sleep some real large adults back here, tall adults. This will fold out into a sleeper bed, which will allow you to sleep taller people. But right here, you're probably talking maybe four and a half feet. So you're not gonna have a tremendous amount of room here for folks who might be taller. This is great for small kids. And then you have some wardrobe storage here. You have a TV that's already mounted, nice mirror here, and lots of wardrobe space. So that's what's really nice about this unit. Even with mid bunk units, sometimes you don't have much wardrobe space. But with this unit, they give you a good size rear bunk house with good wardrobe space in terms of a closet as well as drawers and a TV. This could also be used as an office. You can easily take this stuff out, put a desk back here, have a nice window, and have a really great place to work. Shoot, you might even be able to figure a way to put a desk maybe sideways so you can also watch TV or even use that as a monitor. Very, very cool. And then you have another barn door back here, which you can close off from the bathroom. But this makes for a really good office space, specifically because you have your own dedicated bathroom. So you have a half bath here, along with an office right there. You can close both doors if you have maybe a loud conference call or you have kids that are running around out here and you need it to be a little bit quieter. This is a really great unit if you're gonna be working from the road. All right, so let's work our way to the front of this unit. On our way, we're gonna pass by the bathroom. So, this is a beautiful bathroom. This has that newer shower stall that's becoming increasingly popular on your higher end fifth wheels. Really nice, has a beautiful tile look to it. Has the step in it as well, or the seat, which so far on the Van Lee unit that has that same seat, it's held up really well. So I guess it's more of a testament to how they've designed the backer behind here to be able to support the weight. Don't recommend standing on it or anything, but it seems to be pretty sturdy so far. Now, nice sink area, plenty of storage around the sink. I like the tile backsplash that they have here. Nice large medicine cabinet. Has a good radius to the ceiling as well. Plus you have towel holder here. Okay, big, big request. All RV manufacturers need to put towel holders. Some of them don't have it. Even the beacon that we have from Van Lee doesn't have a towel holder. 
they need to put these in. Every RV should have towel holders. I think it's just mandatory. Lots of storage here. I mean, this is a tremendous amount of storage inside of here. Probably goes two and a half feet back. Opening's probably a foot wide, about 14 inches tall, and it's even wider on the inside. You could really put just about anything back here. I would have liked to have seen some cabinet doors on a couple of these maybe. Maybe put this up a little higher and have a cabinet door here, a cabinet door on this one. But, you know, overall, tremendous amount of space. Of course, you have a porcelain foot flush toilet as well, and this is a pocket door. Coming into the bedroom up front, we can call this the master since there is a bedroom in the back. You have your TV already mounted, a nice trimmed off box. This unit has all whisper quiet air conditioning systems. You can see the return air ducts up here. Has a lot of room between the wardrobe and the bed. You probably have at least three and a half feet here, which is a lot of space. Typically, this is much narrower. And the reason why you have so much space is because this is on a full depth slide. So this bed extends out three feet, freeing up that space here at the end of the bed, which I can really appreciate. Plus you have these two sliding doors for the closet. All right, so now that we have some light, you can see just how large this closet space is. It has a nice area over there for a hamper as well. Tons of space, lots of room for shoes back here. You have a nice hanging bar up top. Just a tremendous amount of space. If you take these shelves out, you have your washer and dryer connection here along with an area for you to run your dryer vent. Beautifully trimmed out closet. I absolutely love the look of the mirrors as well. This is a king size bed. You have little end tables there on the side with cup holders. Not sure if I love the placement of those, but not too bad. And I like the fact that they're putting a control system here that gives you the ability to turn off lights, turn on lights, adjust your bed lighting, all of this next to the bed. I just think that's a really, really great feature that makes it a lot more convenient when you're going to bed and you want to kill all the lights in the unit. Over here, you can extend or retract the slides right here next to the bed. I like that the doors are heavier doors as well. They don't feel like the cheap, flimsy, thin, hollow doors. Coming down. Again, let's take one more glance around this unit so you can see what it's all about. Guys, this is a really beautiful fifth wheel. Definitely recommend towing it with a dually one-ton pickup truck or greater. This is relatively heavy at 16,500 pounds. You're probably going to have a reasonable pin weight. It actually might be a little lighter on the pin than some comparably sized fifth wheels because you have so much structure towards the back. So you could probably get away with like a one ton single rear wheel truck as long as your payload capacity on that truck is in the 4,400 pound range. But again, everything's really pretty up here. So you have your whisper quiet air conditioning back here. So that's one air conditioning unit. This is actually a quiet cool Coleman mock system. Even though it doesn't look like your traditional whisper quiet system, it is a quiet cooling system. So much quieter than what you might be used to in the past. And then you have your third AC up front here. So you have three ACs inside of this unit. And this unit has an MSRP of $99,156. The North Point is definitely what Jayco considers to be in their luxury line of fifth wheels. There's really only one model above that, and that's called the Pinnacle. But the North Point is great because they make it more family or oriented interiors with these bunk houses and some of the cooler amenities that are designed for larger families. You should expect to pay significantly less than MSRP on a unit like this, but definitely give the folks at Ron Hoover a call if you're interested in this. I don't know how long they're going to have a unit like this because this is an absolutely fantastic bunk house floor plan. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.